Okay, you guys, I still need time to process everything that has happened today. It has been an absolutely crazy day in the Sims community. We have the official announcement of not just the Sims 4 high school, but the Sims 4 high school years. There's always some sort of variation with the titles. We had university leaks that turned into Discover University, and we had tropical paradise leaks that turned into island living. So similar themes, obviously, just the name is a little bit different, but it is here. It has been announced. It has been revealed. The trailer is out. The blog post is out. I did a reaction to both the trailer and the blog post, as well as a deep dive in a live stream earlier today. If you have not seen that, grab your snacks, grab your drink, relax, and watch that. We had a fun time, and there was a lot of fanboying and craziness in there, so definitely check that out if you haven't. But here, in this video, we're not going to be talking about the trailer. We're not going to be talking about the blog post. We're going to be talking about everything else that I did not cover in there that was revealed today. So we have some key features. Now, the way that these are worded are actually a little bit different from the blog post. This is on The Sims' official website, The Sims 4 High School Years. Pre-order the expansion now to receive the vibing streamer gear digital content. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a fan of the limited time content that they offer. They did it with Cottage Living. I remember it was some sort of bicycle and now they're doing it again here. I don't like how they're basically saying you have to buy it by a certain date to get these extra pieces. They should just give everyone the extra pieces whether you buy it or not, you know? Maybe they're just trying to get people to pre-order it. I don't know. My opinions on pre-orders still stand and my opinion has not changed since The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories do not pre-order it until we see early access gameplay or at least until it releases because like I've said before, we see how great these trailers are, but when we see deep dive live streams and game changer early access videos, then we find out there are issues, things don't work, or things are just a little misleading, so I think it's best to just hold off. It's not going to hurt you by waiting to pre-order, but of course, you do with your money as you wish. I'm just here to try and guide you guys in the right direction, based on my honest opinions. Where will it be available? Everywhere. Origin, PlayStation, Steam, and Xbox. All on the same day, July 28th, which is the same day that appeared in almost every single leak. So once again, that was correct. So here is a look at the new digital content. It looks a little bit different from what we saw at the end of the trailer. Pretty cool looking LED panels, spine reticulating gamer chair, and that is literally the perfect name for that. Whoever decided to do that is a genius, seriously. And lastly, the groove tube wireless speaker. So pretty cool stuff. I just wish they wouldn't hide it behind that, you know, order by a certain date type of wall. I don't like that very much, but it is what it is. And for these items, you have until September 8th. If you miss out, then you can't get these items. Obviously, we saw in the trailer that we're getting a brand new gaming set. So this chair is going to go perfect with it. And of course, they separate the chair from the new desk and the new computer that appear to be coming, probably to get people to, you know, order it before that date. So key features. These are a little different from the blog post, actually. The same picture but it reads, experience all the ups and downs of high school, attend classes in person, get to know your teachers, hang out in the cafeteria, and even decorate your locker. Your most treasured moments might happen when loitering around with your friends after school. See, that was one of my questions when I was watching the trailer. They didn't mention decorating your locker. I was just kind of assuming maybe you could because all the lockers were very plain looking, but then the one locker that the Sim was using was all decked out in stars and butterflies and all types of stuff. So that's really exciting to hear that you can customize it to fit your Sims' personality or aesthetic. Iconic teen moments. Dance the night away at prom and celebrate your graduation ceremony with family and friends if you keep up with your schoolwork. In addition to those big moments, Sims can make lifelong friends, be asked out by other teens, participate in after school activities and teams, and experience the roller coaster of puberty. We did know this from the blog post puberty is now confirmed to be coming and I just can't wait to sit down and fully explore that. We're getting after school activities like cheerleading and football practice and all sorts of other things. Chess club I remember reading. Again all that stuff is in my live stream from earlier and I like how they include here that you can celebrate your graduation ceremony and prom if you keep up with your schoolwork. So obviously if you're not doing good in school, if your sims aren't getting good grades, you're not going to be able to graduate. That's a given, but what I want to know is, can they 
stop you from attending prom if your grades are bad. Honestly, I hope so. We need more repercussions. We need more consequences in the game. And if that's truly the case, then I am all in. Also, you can see here we're getting a photo booth, a food and fountain table that looks very similar to the one we got in My Wedding Stories, but it's probably a different variation. And of course, all the new outfits, hairstyles, and jewelry accessories. You guys, I cannot express how excited I am for this. This feels different, okay? This is giving me that same tingly feeling in my belly that Seasons gave me. You know, like that nostalgia that I got while playing The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. I'm getting those same feelings here, and I really hope this pack for sure lives up to the expectations. Up next, shake things up. High school is a time of self-discovery. Find the confidence to ask your crush out or the guts to skip class. Don't let the principal catch you. Teen Sims will explore their own likes and dislikes and have new opportunities to cause mischief. Pranks and sneaking out after dark can have consequences, so be careful. You don't get caught. They mentioned that there is some sort of self-discovery thing that's coming to the game. They were very vague with it. They didn't go into detail, but I'm curious to know exactly what that is. An amazing simmer in my stream actually predicted some sort of self-discovery system or something along those lines, and I will just be absolutely gagged if something like that comes. But the promposals from the trailer, oh my gosh, they look so cute. And also, you can skip class. Oh, we've been eating this kind of stuff. It honestly looks like this is just a better version of university because I love university. I love the options for classes and studying, but the whole thing is basically outside of class because all the classes are rabbit holes. You don't see any of that stuff. Literally, the entire thing is just about life outside of it. But now, this is about life, not just teenhood in general, but inside the classroom. I really wish that they would have had more of an open feel like this for university as well, but I mean, we can't go back in the past and change it. But also at the same time, we have to think the Sims team is so down for refreshes. They've given us one already for spa day. So maybe that could be getting a refresh. Who knows? And lastly, explore your style. Make your bedroom your own. Plan outfits with clothes designed by Depop sellers and become a Sim fluencer. Teen Sims can earn money by selling outfits fits and hyping up looks they design on Trendy right from their bedroom, which are now more interactive than ever. Use a laptop, read a book in bed, or even have a pillow fight. We saw the pillow fights, but using a laptop and reading books in bed? So teen things, honestly, all age things. We all do that, but nonetheless, amazing, spectacular introductions to the game. And look at the sim in the window. I still can't get over this. The new computer setup, the crisscross applesauce, not only on the bed, but also on the floors as well as coming. Simfluencers, the trendy app. They had a little social network type thing going on in the trailer. I want to know exactly how real that is, if we're going to be able to post our own statuses or blog posts, be able to see reactions, comments, and followers. I want to know if all that is actually real, real, you know, because they've kind of hinted at that Simstagram stuff before in trailers. I'm pretty sure they did it with the snowy escape trailer. My memory's really bad. That's why I'm saying that. And then it ended up not even being in the game. It was kind of just just, you know, for marketing purposes, we better have something like that truly in here. Do you guys remember in The Sims 3 University Life, how we could actually write custom blog posts and stuff like that would be amazing. All right, so some things that I want to talk about. We have a brand new look, I guess with the new pack, you can see the new world in the background. I mean, I don't know if this is a world that we already have. It's kind of hard to tell, but SimGuru George is already posting pictures. This could be the new world in the background. I had to make a comparison of my adult and teen self. I just couldn't figure out if I should have gone with my long hair phase or not. Either way, Sim Guru George currently and as a teenager. Nico Rabbit on Twitter asks a bunch of Sim Gurus, I would just like to know something. Is body hair going to be available for both mask and femme frames and body types? I really hope there are options like that because all kinds of people have body hair. Well, the Sim Gurus have confirmed previously with the launch of werewolves and now again, of course, that body hair is coming in a free patch update. The difference is that with the brand new pack, you're going to get additional features with the body hair. For example, shaving and growth and all that stuff, especially 
up on the facial hair, which is really cool. SimGuru George replies, yes, more details will come up as we lead up to launch. So body hair, four mask, and femme frame and body types, which I was expecting them to do. It would honestly bother me for them to just give it to men. There are a lot of questions about the school. Is it like university? Is it like a shell? Obviously, we're going to be able to go inside of it and interact, but is it like a shell kind of building to where we can't bulldoze it and build our own? Many simmers are asking that question. SimGuru George replies to Love Simply Sim and Fry, the first thing you're going to do is take a bulldozer to our beloved Copperdale High? Doesn't necessarily confirm anything here, but is kind of making it apparent that we might be able to? If this is the case, then we're going to be able to build our own custom high schools and they better do this. We need that creative freedom. I don't think everyone should be stuck with the same high school. I think that we should make our own if we want to or download our own, our own theme, style, aesthetic, all that stuff. It would be amazing. Of course, it could have a checklist. You know, it could require these items or this classroom or that, you know, I think that they could definitely make that possible, though. I guess we don't know at this time. We saw in the trailer that there could be a brand new woohoo spa. We saw hearts, sparkles and confetti on the Ferris wheel as it was going round and round. But now we have official confirmation. Shella tweets new woohoo spot and SimGuru George responds, don't get too dizzy. So yes, that is a brand new woohoo spot and I hope it is not the only. And lastly, from Sim Guru Ash, we have more looks at the brand new world. Keep in mind, these are pictures not from the trailer, but actually from the game itself. And it looks beautiful. I'm trying to figure out where the inspiration is from. Right now, I'm thinking maybe Pacific Northwest, maybe Washington State, maybe Oregon, maybe even Northern Northwestern California. I don't know, but that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this, seeing the hills and mountains as well as the tall trees and even some water. It's beautiful, it's green, it's lush, and I do love that little cross bridge there too. Again, another look here from a different angle, and ah, this here was the angle that SimGuru George was posting and teasing last night, so it was in fact the new world. I knew that it had some similarities to Moonwood Mill, but then I realized this lake definitely isn't like fully crescent shaped, so I kind of figured, oh well, okay, it's not that world, so what is it? Well, we now know. And of course, the last view here, I want to know, is that a log that's going across that river? And can our Sims actually cross it? If so, that would be so freaking cool. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking of the brand new expansion pack announced and revealed today, The Sims 4 High School Years. And of course, everything we know about it so far. Again, I went through the blog post and the trailer in my stream. Check it out if you haven't. You're going to have a fun time. We were a little crazy, I won't lie. But of course, if there's any more news, Sim Group Q&As, I'm going to be on top of things for the next month until this pack comes out. You guys already know. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have notifications on. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Take care. I love you and happy simming. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.